Okay, in this video we're going to start making the enemy missiles actually target the player and any of the defender buildings. Uh, so let's jump back into Unity. And actually, first thing we're going to do is clean up these houses. So we're going to get rid of those. I'm just going to call it, you know, call it city. And I'm going to turn this into a prefab. I'll just go into it and first thing I'm just going to make it actually smaller to maybe a quarter of the size yeah we'll try it like that I noticed as well this if you're on full screen sometimes is a bit small or it doesn't cover the whole screen so we'll do that okay so we got the, the city as a prefab again just gonna move that down I'm going to scale this guy down a bit too. Maybe make him... Yeah, we'll go with something like that for now. That should be pretty good. Okay, so we got the city. So we're just going to duplicate this a bunch of times. Doesn't matter if they're evenly spaced or not. And I'm just going to make six of them like the original game. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll go like that. Let's move that guy down a bit. Okay, so we'll go like that. And what we're going to need to do is let's go back into this prefab here. So if you just click the little arrow next to it, That'll take you into prefab mode. And what we need to do is add a box collider, a box collider 2D. That's pretty good, but you know what? Let's uh, shrink that in a bit. Yeah, something like that. So basically if the missile hits anywhere here, then that's going to trigger an explosion. We're just going to make that a trigger as well. It doesn't need to actually collide. And let's go back to the game. And now if you look, all of these houses have the same box collider as a trigger on them. Uh, we've got to do the same to the missile launcher. So again, click the little arrow, go in prefab mode. Let a box collider 2D. Just gonna shrink this guy in a little bit. Okay, so we have that. Uh, these are gonna have scripts on them later uh, just to do different things. But for now, what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna make a new tag and I'm just gonna call this defenders. Then if we select all the cities and the missile launcher and set it as defenders. Now we're going to be able to, to actually find all the defenders. So let's go to our enemy missile, add a script. We're going to make a new one. We'll call this, uh, call it enemy missile. to add okay so let's open enemy missile okay and what we're gonna do uh, you know we'll need a, a speed for it so it's gonna be how fast the missile moves uh, for now we'll try it as five for now and what we're gonna do let's make make an array of game objects and if you don't know what arrays are it just stores multiple of the same object inside of it so instead of just one game object it, it can be as many as we want it to be uh, we're gonna call this uh, you know we'll call it defenders okay, and the way we're gonna do this is in start we're gonna do defenders equals new game object Oh, actually, no, we'll do defenders equals game object dot 
Oops, sorry. Game object dot find. Sorry, I can't type today. Uh, where is it? Find objects with tag. So we need the the one with the S in there, and this has to be spelt exactly as it is in the layers that are in the in the tag that we set up. So it is case sensitive. So that should get all of the defenders. And you know what? Just to test it, we're going to do debug log defenders dot count. Oh wait, uh, sorry, with arrays it's length. So if we try our game now, and click, so we're getting seven at the bottom, which we have seven. So it is working, it's finding all of them. So we can get rid of that. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make game object target. Uh, you know what, we'll change this. We'll do transform target. We don't actually need to know anything about the, the object. Everything on the cities when they get hit is gonna be controlled from the city, not from the missile. So that'll make more sense later. Okay, so right in the start, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say target equals defenders. And then for the index to pick which one here, we're gonna do random dot range. This will be between zero and uh, defenders dot length. Uh, okay, and we're gonna need dot transform. Okay, so this should pick a random one. And then what we can do is if we go to the player missile controller, we can actually take this whole line here for how the player missile moves and put it in here. Transform.position, target's the same, speed. So everything's named the same. So this line of code should work fine. So let's try this out. Oh. What's it not like in here? Oh, what's our error? Transform to dot vector two. Oh, okay. So because it's a transform, we need to do target dot position. Because uh, in the other one, we used it as a uh, just so it makes sense. In here, target is actually a vector two, not a not a transform like this one. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so that one went there. If we run it again, it should pick a different one. And again, a different one. Okay, so that's working. Uh, that should be good enough for this video. And then the next one, we'll just keep adding on to the system here.